swamps in. Swampy swamp. Do you know what this is based on? Honestly, I don't know if this is based on the movies or the comic. <laughs> Neither. This is based on the cartoon. I didn't even know there was one. Oh yeah, as a kid, I loved it. And in my memory, I spent an entire summer watching every single episode of it. There's four episodes, yeah. No! <laughs> There's five. <laughs> So they must have shown it like one morning a week for the summer holidays. Yeah, into, into no. my well, memory, that would make sense. It seems was... like the entire, it was like one week instead of six weeks. But... If it was the early 90s, then yeah, you'd only but get yeah, one a week. It, it had five episodes. Who's this prick? It's the main villain from I Swamp think... Thing. Have I've... you ever read Swamp Thing? No, I've only ever seen the comic. And this is also, this is based on the pre-Alan Moore, the original, oh, 70s original. Oh, right, well then I wouldn't know anything about that. I only have vague knowledge yeah. of Adam Moore's but version. No, I, the opening theme of the cartoon is Wild Thing, da na 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 but okay. Swamp Thing, da I wonder if they had to pay royalties or they got away with having changed the words enough. Oh my God, explosion. So I don't imagine there's going to be demons in this because there's demons in the Alan Moore one, isn't it? Yeah, no, this is just this is just old school. It's all he's a mutant. The bad guys are mutants. Mutant. Doctor Arcane's the bad guy, and he wants he's a miracle, and the bad guy's a miracle because we don't want Fox suing us, so we've got to start using the word miracle. <laughs> yeah, they haven't got the X gene. They're just it's like more like turtles ooze. Yeah, it's just <laughs> mutated. Weird. I can't remember what the reason. Is. I think they came up with a different reason why he became yeah, no, in the in, new fifty two. In didn't they? the well, I don't know about the new fifty two, but in the eighties when Alan Moore. Uh, rebooted it. Uh, a similar thing happened in that he was a scientist who was fucked up in an explosion and yeah. went into the, the swamp to die. But the swamp thing isn't actually him. It's the, the the spirit of the forest absorbs his body uh, into the forest, therefore to give him peace, therefore taking on his memories. Mm. And then the swamp thing forms out of his memories. Uh, thinking he's Alex when actually it's the ancient spirit of the forest. Yeah, I think they did something similar in Fifty Two. I think they said he, yeah, there's something about he he's not. Yeah, basically the same. They just kind of made yeah. it slightly more simplified. Because in the, oh maybe you don't. Maybe it's in one of those Green Arrows I lent you that they, they talk about yeah. briefly, probably. Because Swamp Thing has a Doctor Demo. Of course, when Alan Moore did that, that was still in the both that and Constantine were both still in the. Uh, the main continuity yeah and then after a few years they decided to put them both into vertigo which was a imprint different reality yeah and without you, without actually saying anything them. like they got put into another universe they just said they're not in continuity anymore and then right at the end of new 52 they both came back into continuity before the new 52 they both came back into continuity again. yeah now obviously they're both back in continuity yeah, you can you, you know you can press start and uh, yeah but we're getting the story this time normally we skip the story it's it's cycling we've had the whole story haven't we no this i press started and it's doing it again now we no we know we missed out on the platoon story we missed out on the dracula story <laughs> now people can never longer say we don't know what's going on in this yeah. game he wants the swamp thing that guy's got a top hat. He's sending robots on the unmen, whatever the fuck they are. Because they're not men anymore. Fucking hell, when's this going to start? That's a dragon! Yeah, second, there you go. Look at how agile he is. Look at the way he moves. Look at all his moves. Yeah, that's right. He punches not even as far as his own chest. God. Is that an enemy? Yeah, everything hurts. You can't jump in the water. Can I punch that? No, you have to jump over it when it's closed. Right. Whoa! That's so, a jump. so while I was looking, Ooh. while I was looking up the cartoon to see how many episodes it got, if you I found out. How do I get past this dude? Jump over it. You got quite a long jump. And then you punch that. God, what's Baxter, Baxter fly in the face. You can't duck and punch. So you just got to jump over him. Is this it? Is this all I'm going to be doing? Is just jumping over everything? This is yep. Yeah, that this is the farthest I got when I was just testing it earlier. Ugh. Fucking hell! Yes, yeah, so when I was looking this up, I, I found out I didn't even realise I've now done now downloading them. Uh. But at the same time, the cartoon started, a live action show started. And it really? got three seasons. Christ! There's like thirty episodes per season. 
I imagine it's going to be super cheap and like him stopping environmentalists from dumping toxic waste every week or stuff. Yeah, yeah. But it's like full on dude in a rubber costume and everything. And I've got both the movies, so I'll give the TV show a watch. It can't be any sillier than the movies. I always like the second one. I like the second one more than the first one. The first one tries to take itself seriously, but doesn't have the budget, so it fails. Oh. And it's by John Carpenter, I think. Yeah. Uh, the second one, I don't know who it's by, but they just decided to make it into a slapstick, over-the-top comedy. <laughs> Christ. And it has Heather Locklear in it. The second one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The second one's slightly more cheesy. I remember she gets turned. They yeah, have like a weird. They don't even try. They just make. They just straight up make it a comedy and make everyone's actually that water doesn't hurt. What well, is just that can that hurts then? No, I think the water that water at the start doesn't hurt because <laughs> otherwise you can't get over it. What does that number mean? That's how many lives times you've died. So you know you run out of continue. You go right back to the beginning of the level where you were anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that again. No, because look, see, uh, yeah, that's how many hits. I have got. two lives, right? Yeah, left. So yeah. Z, Z, you're on zero now, and you've lost zero lives. Yeah. Yeah. So for some reason, that water doesn't hurt. Well, no water should hurt you. Uh, you're a plant. No, that my lives haven't gone up, but I have a one next to my health thing now. I don't know what that means. <laughs> No. One day we'll play a game where the HUD doesn't confuse the shit out of us. <laughs> yeah, the water doesn't yeah, the water hurt. The water doesn't the stuff in it. Oh, that's alright then. That'd be fucking stupid. It's just everything can fucking kill you. And I can't hit anything, so I'm just... Uh... Oh, Whoa! you've got throwy things. Yeah. That's what that little green thing you picked no, no, up. No, no, no. Green, yeah, the green thing in the corner is... You've got nine of them. Yeah, and I had ten. Brown. Wow! I didn't realise something had springs in his legs. Oh yeah. Bounce, Alex, bounce. What the fuck is that? I don't know. See, that's giving me the two. Whoa! Who is throwing those massive knives? No one. They just appeared out of nowhere. Yeah, they, they come in. Someone's throwing them out the door. Yeah. Oh, he's sweet, <laughs> sweet. That's bitch. not a knife. This is a knife. See, now I've got three of those things. Great. Do we need those things? Oh, look, you can see like silhouettes of people looking out the window. <laughs> yeah, who's got a beef with me? He... Oh! You're right back at the beginning again. Of course I yeah. am. You still got a three, yeah? Yeah. But that's what I was thinking, oh, is that a special move? I don't know. Or maybe you mean to collect all of those by the end of the level, so now you've already got those three, you can go part of that and to recollect them. Mm. Punch it! What I like Four. is that it, Oh god. Five. <laughs> wow. If only you knew what they were, you could farm them forever. Indeed. <laughs> Robin's done with the, with the sound already. It's not the worst sound. No, it's just a little repetitive. This is the only way I can kill those mouths. I can't get to that. I don't nice. know where it is. Nice. I don't appear to be able to punch that. Oh, the cheese is for us pieces. No. Nope. Why do you want to punch it? It's green like you. Don't be, don't be a, a, a green hater. It's a mechanical fash. God, he, he moves like a sack of shit. Yeah. Not like swamps. <laughs> I know swamps aren't meant to be the most agile thing. Yeah, but he can he can just he can stretch and turn to vines and. Nah. Turn to moss and do whatever he wants. So he should be able to walk faster than that. You can do it. Go, Alex. It's your birthday. Not that anyone's going to celebrate it because you live in the swamp on your own. I'm sure he could party with the turtles. Although I know at one point he had a girlfriend and he got her pregnant. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I didn't read up to the point where she gave birth, so I don't know what the child was. I believe it was a human that had powers over the swamp, wasn't it? At one point I did read them, but I haven't. I appear to have gone round in a circle. 
at one point I was reading all the Alan Moore ones from the library when I was a kid. Yeah. But that was like 10 years ago, so I don't remember any of them all. They've all been republished now, so I do plan on buying that one at some point. Yeah, I think they're in a collection. Um, not a massive collection, I think it's like the his, Alan Moore's entire run is in like six volumes. Yeah. And then two volumes of the guy that followed on after him in the same kind of area, I think. And then the new 52 ones are going to be really good as well because they cross over with Animal Man and they have like the, the bad guys, the rock or something. Yeah, yeah. I read a few issues of Animal Man. It's kind of on my list of ones to get because it's actually it was in a limited run and it's finished now. Yeah, both that and Animal Man. I think there was a third Justice or Constantine. Yeah, there's a third one that ties in as well and then there was like a, a three issue mini series called uh, Rock World. That's it, Rock World that finished off the, all three. God. Robocracks! I'm looking for Robocracks! Some more projectiles there? Yeah, I know. Oh no! I can't get to them, they're she, too high. She's dead. But you got 14 of those things and you started like, oh, you can jump on the crocs, can you? Uh, I don't think so, can you? Yeah, that's how you gotta get the thing. Yeah. That's gone. No, 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 I'm not as far as I. Uh. They should make it so everything that's green doesn't hurt you, so they can change the colour of the fish. Yeah, I know. Ah! We can't get to that! The croc is too fast. Too slow, not far. <laughs> Don't take it out on my sofa, bitch. Oh, God. Let's have a go. Please don't start. Right? I mean, it's not a hard game. It's just uh, it's a it's a classic NES game. It's difficult but not broken. Man, if only we knew what the fuck we were doing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just get to the end. Uh, you gotta go get the health first. Maybe I don't want it. Well, you, you'll trust me. You'll Maybe I'm it. a rebel. <laughs> God, look at him. It appears to be like I know it's what it's taking a little bimbo. I guess that I, that creature is meant to be like a Venus flytrap or something. But it looks like it's a robot. No, this is all this is all Doctor Arcane's robots. Well, then maybe that maybe it is it. Is it a robot that's firing its brain? I don't know what it's firing. If you want to hit these, you've got to hit them from below. Yeah. I know. But they're not. It's not really worth it because I don't know what they're for. <laughs> oh no! no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We've got to make it with his super shit punch. Maybe this classic version of Swamp Thing had an uber terrible punch. Like he didn't have particularly long arms. He was like a teenager. This is based on the cartoon, and the cartoon, like stretching and punching, is his primary power. Oh, well. He, he stretches the like the front cover if you buy the, the DVD of the, uh, of the cartoon is him stretching his arm towards camera. Yeah. Or maybe Stretch Armstrong sued, and they said if you if you give them stretch powers, we're gonna we're gonna sue you. That's what we need. We need DC to make another. I wonder if that could be one of the movies that DC could do. I think if you could do a Swamp Thing movie, it's a little out there, but um, it'd be interesting. It'd be cool. Yeah, if well, I'd rather I'd, see I'd, that than some of the other I ones. I don't know. I died in midair. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because if they were to do a Dark Justice movie, then it's not far off to say that they could do a Swamp Thing movie. And if I'd prefer them to do a Swamp Thing movie, then just crack out another one. I don't think that the Dark Justice thing isn't happening anymore. No, I know it isn't, but they were they were open to it at the point. And if they got yeah. close in time... Well, so that's they... before they'd settled on their whole universe thing. Yeah. And before Gromo del Toro decided another 20 films he wants to do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> as he's usual. A, he's a busy man. Somebody needs to tell him that you know he will die. He should stop doing. It. He should stop adding more movies on. Well, him. the amount of work and hype that's going into Crimson Peak. Yeah. I just hope that's fucking good. <laughs> he hasn't had a shit film so far, as far as I know. I don't think I've hated. I don't think I've ever hated one of his movies. Um, Chronos isn't amazing, but it's his first film. Yeah, exactly. And I like. I mean, yeah, it's not. I mean, none of them are terrible. Even, even even if it's not an amazing production, it's still. An original story and yeah, well exactly. acted and everything. It's like Devil's Backbone. I'm not, I don't love, but it's still a great movie. But like it's still a very well made film. Is it Devil's Backbone? Yeah, yeah. 
Well, basically, this Crimson Peak one is, he says, it's like in the vein of um, Pan's Labyrinth and Devil's Backbone and Kronos and stuff. Yeah. Uh, in that he usually does his like more darker, less mainstream material in Spanish. Yeah. But this is the first time he's done one with, I think it's New Line, isn't it? Yeah. Um, he's had such a good partnership with New Line, they've given him such creative freedom that he, they just, he decides to go ahead with them and do this new one in English even though it should be in Spanish yeah so I'll get away one. knife I don't imagine it being in English or Spanish will make a difference so. man those knives are massive oh god I just wants to fucking eat you you're almost to the checkpoint where I got to I think it's just the other side of this um, piece of land so many Baxters yeah uh, it's just I oh, know you've got to get past this place. This is easy. This is just platforming. You've got to jump over. You've got to jump yeah. diagonally. Not told told me anything about diagonals. I didn't sign up for diagonals. You didn't sign up for a slow moving swamp there. Mm. Who moves as slow as a terminal? Oh, right? you fuck. We almost got me, didn't we? Little creep. <laughs> fucking touch me. I just don't appear to go as far off screen to hit the mouse. Oh, there we go. Oh, God, another one's coming, but I think there's life above you here. There we go. <laughs> God, if only we knew what those were. <laughs> that could just be a point system. I don't know. Yeah, probably. Oh, they're, oh. Probably, oh, they're probably supposed to be like vials of science stuff. Yeah, they could well be batteries or swamp things or. Did I make the check for you? No, you don't. He's mine! It's too small, I say. We'll see if there's any cheats. I don't know any cheats for this. so weird how uh, the, the the trajectory oh, fuck, of the pickups because they, they fly off but they also float away and <laughs> they're kind of weird they're like quavers yeah exactly I was about to say they're very, they're very flirty like. well quavers in the, in the adverts like a real quaver you let go of it it just drops yeah I tested you were you were never more annoyed you were sent a letter into which false advertising yeah is it walkers that make quavers it is. Got a new flavor. I like got a load of new flavors of Quavers now. Like mm. they keep you know, that that usual thing they do, that you vote for the best one, and they keep that for a while. Yeah. It's like, damn you, you diet breaking tempters. They just want you to eat the well, flavors. Well, I'm going to try one new flavor a week on my cheat day. You know, Hopefully they won't have all. They'll all be around for six weeks, so I can try them all. And you eat twelve packets? <laughs> no. So I'm doing twelve forever. packets, then I just have two of each. Shit. Mm. Oh, we got Doobery. Apparently, stop being shit. Mm. I don't know who wrote that guy, but they haven't played this game. <laughs> oh, so I got further than you, so you've got. A yeah, time. I know. <laughs> But I don't have to stop being shit, because... Uh, you have to start getting shit, because you're yeah, even worse than shit. I've got to get shit, you've got to get better. There's the dynamic. <laughs> you're right, they are brain tossers. <laughs> okay. The enemies in this level are brain tossers, robo-fish, robo-hornets... Robo mice, mm. falling cans, knives, and floating cans. Falling cans? I just yeah, thought that's that was a can. fish. It's a can. Did you not know that was a can? No, I, thought, I honestly thought those were kit, those were fish. Yeah, there's no cheats. 
Yeah. <laughs> and there's no objectives other than get to the left of the screen. <laughs> so you better do it that way. Well, I'm alright. I've got ten of the... You fucking brain toss. <laughs> What, what what an enemy that uh, that's like imagine that was in real life. What would that do? To what you? does it achieve? It tosses a brain up in the air and then catches it again. Yeah, like the brain shouldn't wouldn't hurt you. It's like unless you lived in a two dimensional universe like this, you would just walk around it, and at the most you'd just be like, "Ew, I got splattered with goopy brain." Yeah, exactly. Damn. Unless maybe it's like heated inside, so it's sauteing it at the same time. Still... Some kind of Hannibal Lecter esque device to get dinner ready. Yeah, a brain is not going to hurt me, no matter how it hits me. But it does hurt you, Rory. We've seen that. That fish tricked you. You can do it. You're vaguely further than before. And vastly further than before. <laughs> More mystery knives. Why don't the mystery knives like the hurt the mice? Because three dimensional plane, they're throwing it behind the knife. But it looks like they're throwing it at the knife, the fish, <laughs> but the mice. Well, although we're looking, just because we're looking at Swamp Thing from the side, we can't actually tell that he's a mile wide. Yeah. So when he turns, this green should just go completely green for a second. <laughs> God. Come on. Stop throwing knives in there. <laughs> so many knives. So many weird platforms in the middle of the swamp. We don't it's like know. It's a drilling rig or something. We've never lived in the bayou. Who? Haven't we? We don't know. I watched the show about puppets who lived in the bayou, though. So We don't know about Waterboy. We've only lived water before. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Do you have any idea what that show was called? Oh. It was about, it was about, uh, it, was a, it was about a load of puppets. Mm. The main one was a crocodile. And they like ran a restaurant in the bayou. No, I've got a clue of it. Oh, you missed the one-up. Damn. No one-up, bitch. <laughs> Fuck. You die trying to get a little bit of health instead of just going left like you should. So. Yeah. Damn. That's that's the, the message of the day, people. Never try and go for the one up. <laughs> gotta get the one up before sun up. Why are flies wearing sunglasses? Well, because they want to look cool while they're doing it. Their robot eyes see you as you. Robot eyes tell no lies. Robot eyes compliment you on your thighs. Oh. That would be a weird thing. Just We've done it! We've created artificial intelligence and androids! This one's for complimenting thighs. You have lovely thighs. Can I have a squeeze? And then it needs charging for 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, how long have we been playing this? <laughs> 23 minutes. Go on, Rory. One more try. You can do it. <laughs> No, it's still hard. If only I could save state it, I'd have done it in half the time. But the Robo Fire robot will not let me. Yeah. If you'd start save stating everything, imagine how much editing I'd have to do. I do not care. And I then, just want to touch fires. <laughs> and then afterwards, the video would be five minutes long. Well, no, it's just every time I died, I'd just uh, reload from the bar I died, and it wouldn't matter. It would be easier. Yeah, cheating. It would be more entertaining. No, cheating. Cheating is fine, but do not cheat on the robot. It loves you and your thighs. What if the robot cheats on me and starts squeezing other people's thighs? The robot needs more than one set of thighs. Oh, I see how it is. One wall for the robots and another wall for the human. Exactly. <laughs> it's not cheating if she's a robot. Well, uh, 
That's like saying it's not cheating if you have sex with a flesh I think. But it's not. <laughs> What about if that fleshlight is a woman? <laughs> what, his name is Fleshlight? Yeah. It's a bit of an odd name. But technically, if you establish that rule with your girlfriend beforehand, <laughs> then she's only got herself to blame. It's just like it's not cheating if well, she yeah, has... Well, yeah, you've got to do is find a mistress who's willing to change her, change her name to Fleshlight for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or her name is Felicia Light, and she likes to be called F-Light. That's not Fleshlight, though, is it? Yeah, well, pedantic. Or uh, it'd be the same if your girlfriend decided to cheat with somebody called D. Ildo. <laughs> Mr. D. Il D. Ildo. I didn't need that, I've <laughs> What, D. Ildo? <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Why did he? Why did Doctor Arcane build all this shit? What What does he need? Well, he With wants the swamp, swamp juice from... or something. He wants something like right. That. And so he thought he could achieve that by filling the swamp with robot crocodiles and flies and bugs and bees. Well, I think he's trying to capture me. And uh... yeah, but the idea is you've literally just transformed, no, and you are now walking about. Good point. So if like it took him thirty seconds to build all these robots. Well, he must have had it in the, the cutscene. He's all about. He needs to get his samples back. So he just opened the doors of his lab, and <laughs> they all ran out. I guess, including the the men that throw knives out Fuck doors. Me. Yeah. It's so hard. I need more life. I have to get past that one fish every time I try and jump it. It just kills me. Mm. I've noticed we've got in the habit now, well I've got in the habit now every, pretty much every week when we do a, they made a game of that. I'll just be shit and then you play it for ages. It's alright, I'm good at them. And I just go fucked. <laughs> okay, I can beat this level, it's not too hard. Need more lives, more health, even. I make up for it on, on the rare occasions that we do a third person hack and slashes. Mm. <laughs> the only game that I'm particularly good at. God. Fucking hell. Blimey! Knives everywhere. Indeed. Now I've got to go back up to go. On. Ah! I was going to say I've got to go back up to go. I need to get a life. Oh! <laughs> just get to the fucking picking up anything. Just get to the fucking left of the screen. Well, obviously, but the more lives I have, the better. Not if you lose lives, get into the life. Bubble sky at night. Swamp Things Delight? I'm dead. <laughs> oh, come on, let me have one more. Time. Oh, yeah, Robin suddenly wants to be good. I'll show you how it's done. Yeah, oh, yeah, thank you. You have not got as far as I have. I know, and every time I say, I'll show you how it's done. You do worse. I do worse than I've ever done before. Oh, it's easy, it's just, uh, it was just if we do it, um, you're going to have to cut me out doing loads of deaths. Uh. Oh, pardon me. Swamp Thing. What about, I wonder what controls better, this or a uh, Toxic, Toxic Avenger game? But, uh, I don't imagine the Toxic Avenger game controls particularly well. <laughs> well, it's based on a more successful series, got a hell of a lot more than five episodes. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, you fucking mouse! I still can't even beat. They, they look, actually, the enemies remind me of Sonic enemies. That's what they do, they, they're, dead, they're basically cheap Sonic enemies. Yeah, the Sonic enemies came after. Because this would have come before Sonic. I don't know what year Sonic came out. This was 1992. I don't know. Even though the cartoon was 1990. Yeah, I don't know when the Sonic game came out, but I don't think the Mega Drive was out by then, was it? What? Oh, I don't know. Probably not. I guess you're right. If the, I think I would have thought the Mega Drive didn't come out to 93, 94, but I could be wrong. 
<laughs> oh god, it's gone terrifying. Slowly, slowly, catch the monkey. God, I wonder what I always wonder about that. I always wonder why NES games feel the need to have just continuously spawning enemies. It's just like. To make, well, they have to make them hard because they weren't that long. Yeah. So to give someone value for their money, they had to give them replayability, which means they had to play them for a, a while. Yeah. You need to have constant spawning enemies coming at you. You can just walk past that. You don't have to jump on the, um, the things. I want that. Yeah. Like you think you'd hope that maybe if you collected enough of the maybe that's the thing, maybe if you collect enough of the you get a life. You get yeah. a life, yeah, that's probably what those are. That's probably the classic get a hundred and you get a one up. But it's like you could at least with the coins in Mario you understand that that's what they are, it makes sense, not they look more like battery packs. And I don't want to burn spots off my face. Do I actually need to get big? I just is that a wall? I can't can I, I walk think past you just it. Walk past that. Well, dodge that can. Oh, that's a can? Yeah. What do you think it was? Is I thought it was a robot. They're, they're falling cans and that's a floating can. I thought that was a fucking robot. <laughs> they, I thought that was like just, a robot dog. No, it's just trash. Oh, I got further than I did before. I think you've made it to oh, the really checkpoint. No, you haven't. Oh, no, it's Kinnon, isn't it? Yeah, I thought Damn you'd, it. I thought you'd made it to the checkpoint. I mean, you just died before the checkpoint. Yeah, I thought those floating cans were robot dogs or something. Because obviously the way they're floating on the end, they look. I thought it looked like a face. I did not realise that was just a can. Just a shit design. Because for some reason, this the, the doctor, whatever his name is, Arcane. Arcane. He's got the he's, the cans he's used are the same colour as his robots. So what he's done is he's made his robots from cans of beans. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Like he's specifically colour well, he coordinated doesn't live in everything. The swamp. It, it wouldn't surprise me if his only materials were what he could find floating around in the soil. Thank God he hasn't made robots oh, of Jesus. No, gee, fuck. Oh, he's dead. One more go. Yeah, one more turn. One more life. Definitely. One more quest. Definitely one more life. Definitely. Then I'll have one more go. I will get to the end of this level. <laughs> We might never have beaten Battle of Olympus. That was what I recently saw in an article. Battle of Olympus popped up as one of the top ten RPGs that that should have got a sequel. I just thought, yeah, mate, me and you disagree on that. Well, it was hard, but it wasn't unplayable. It, wasn't it was no. just super fucking hard. And it, you find people that tell you pretty clearly what you need to do. Yeah. I would just struggle with it, and I would never have had a chance. I and mean, it's like this game isn't broken. It's just very hard. It feels the need to have uh, everything coming at you at once. Like you really only need you don't need the floating cans in the water. You've got the enemies on the piers. Is that not enough? Why do you need both? You need one or the other. You don't need the fallen trash and the flying enemies. You only need one of them. You don't need everything on the screen <laughs> to be killing you. Like It's alright, Rory. It's alright. I don't understand. I, I just wish oh, I, fucking I could go back in time and say to the people that made this. They're if, probably not dead. You can probably still find them. If they are dead, I'd go to their grave. Oh, but like, <gasps> look at it. Everything's coming at you, and it's just so many enemies. Come on, then. There we go. Come on, you Doctor Bender. Down this time, everything is all right. It's fucking brain bullshit. I'll encourage you to use some 80s ballads. Push it to the limit. Mm. Walk along the razor's edge. Don't look down your breaking neck. Push it to the limit. <laughs> no. But look, you haven't even been hit. Maybe if I keep, if I keep singing, you won't get hit. Uh, I think if you keep singing, you <laughs> soon. I wasn't in tune enough for uh, the detection to pick it up. <laughs> Yeah, but what's his name? The band will track you down. They've got, they've got, they've got people that look for their songs. It wasn't band, just one dude. Yeah, uh, well, he's coming for his name now. Might be Eddie Money. <laughs> Shit, that's a fake nothing. <laughs> you don't say. Eddie Money of the Wisconsin Money is oh yes, of course. 
You've completed fucking Dark Souls already. You've never completed this big idiot. Dark Souls has rolls and blocks and Logic. weapons with long reaches. <laughs> Are you saying that if Swamp Thing had a, uh, a, a, a spear, you'd be able to beat this game? A spear and a shield? Yeah. Any game with a spear and a shield, I'll be able to beat. That's my shit right there. <laughs> Or a Buster Sword. Maxter wants kiss. <laughs> That's looking suck a dick. Baxter wants that too. <laughs> Baxter wants viney green dick. Well, then we should go and have sex with the turtles because Swamp Man does not does not have sex with uh, flies. It's like, look at this, just everything wants a piece of Swamp Man. Has he been spraying himself with Adidas? With, uh, Adidas? Has he been spraying himself with Lynx? Yeah? Maybe. Maybe he's got that monster magnet spell on him. <laughs> well, are you trying to tell me that this is actually just Xander? Huh? <laughs> yep. His name is Alex. Alexander. Yeah. Yeah. See? It all makes sense. And I'm sure you want to have sex with. I don't know. His wife? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Look, there's someone at home in the background. They see the lights on in the huts. It's. Uh, they are waiting for you to come near so I can throw an eye at you. It's Adam Sandler from The Water Boy. Why do you keep going on about The Water Boy? <laughs> I didn't even know it was set in Louisiana or wherever. Yeah. You Down in Louisiana, we have water! Adam Sandler's early movies are slightly better than his modern movies, but Waterboy is still <laughs> one of the worst. How dare you? Who is one of the best? No. Happy Madison... Wait, no, it's not Happy Madison, it's just no, a production company. Happy Gilmore. Uh, Happy Gilmore and... L is it Lucky Madison? Or is it something Madison? God knows. Uh, are okay. They're quite early. But <laughs> Overboard is actually like the worst, on IMDb, is the yeah. worst film ever made. Well, I agree with that. But that's just because it's got, um, what's his name in it? Mother yeah. Motherfucker that I hate played the Phantom. Oh, Billy Zane. Yeah, Billy Zane's in it as Neptune. Is he? <laughs> yeah. He just comes up on the cruise boat to chat up with him and then goes back into the sea. That is unbelievable. That is literally retarded. And Adam Sandler must have been smoking some crack. Adam Sandler wanted to go on a cruise. Pretty much. He throws his first movie and he didn't have. <coughs> he didn't get to cheers whatever well, sure. Oh, I'm sure he was quite happy with that. <laughs> I'm sure when the, I'm sure his agent went, oh, there's this movie where it's going to be set on a cruise. And he yeah. was like, yeah, I'll go with that, I'll go with that. It's, it's one of the shittest movies I've ever written, I've ever read of a script, Adam. No, 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 no you had me at cruise. I wonder who played uh, Swamp Thing in the movies and the TV show. Because okay. you can't recognise anyone with his fucking big green face. Yeah, I don't think it was anyone famous. It might have been like a famous stuntman or something, like Kane Hodder or someone. Well, I think I remember, I think the voice is quite rememberable, but it might have been a different, it might have been somebody who, the person who did the voice, not necessarily the person who did the uh, recording. It probably was, because the mouth wasn't animatronic. Mm. Swamping all over your face. Shock me. <laughs> That's the other reason we all want to see a, a DC do a Swamp Thing movie, is so we can see this is not a Swamp. This is not Swamp Thing XXX. <laughs> I don't want to see that. That would be technical porn. Uh, yeah, well, look, we've all seen the the yellow dick of the Simpsons porno. So we could all see the green dick of Swamp Thing. Yeah, but he wouldn't have a green human dick. It would just be like a, a mash of tendrils. Oh, yeah. Tendrils. Tendrils. It would probably look like a green version of a rat king's tail. Oh, tail. Rat king. Fuck! Just keep going. To the right, right. 
must have shown you a good thing. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> the window's not even open. <laughs> He just wants to show you a good thing, Robin, and he wants to show you it so loud that he's prepared to make himself deaf. Or maybe it is Justin Timberlake. Is that a Justin Timberlake song? Yeah. Are you far more cool than me, Rory. <laughs> I just listened to the top 40. <laughs> exactly. Down with the kids. I just know contemporary music. <laughs> exactly. I know contemporary music, I just don't know contemporary mainstream popular music. Yeah. It's not like I don't listen to new music. I just don't listen to chart music. Yeah. Well, the top 40 at least. Oh. That was pointful getting all the way. Oh, oh you still missed it. What a loser. Don't go back for it. No, 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 I'm just... Uh... <laughs> So many cans, it's raining cans. Exactly. Hallelujah. Sweet. Yay. So if like 20 minutes ago you hadn't gone back for that extra line. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I've lost my... Um... Oh. Bounce. Was that a donut or an eyeball? I don't want to know. Da -na 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 -na. Sneaky eyeballs. Yeah, yeah it, they look like... I... Just... Go, 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 go. Oh. Go. <laughs> Damn it. Woof. Whoa! Oh, me, Jason. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get off that gap. Jump. You got a long jump? Oh, I guess. At least I started with full life. I wonder if... Oh! <laughs> The fuck? Okay. Where where do we continue from? Oh. <laughs> Doesn't even have a password fuck system. <laughs> fuck you, swamp thing. At least we're ready to the second level. <laughs>